That bill is set down for first reading. The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Does he have confidence in the Minister of Workplace Relations and Safety, given his decision not to include sheep, beef and dairy farming in his proposed schedule of high-risk industries? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Given the nationwide average death rate is four workers per 100,000 and dairy farming's death rate is 16 workers per 100,000, why isn't farming considered high risk? The Right Hon. Prime Minister. Uh, because we use an accepted standardised list of industries shared by Australia and New Zealand, which is used for statistic and data collection. I advise that businesses that carry the risk of a catastrophic event causing multiple fatalities or industry with more than 25 fatalities per 100,000 workers or a serious injury rate of 25 in 1,000 workers are deemed high risk. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Given that ACC charges twice the levy on dairy farming that it does on lavender growing, why does he say that lavender growing is high risk but dairy farming isn't? The right uh, Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Uh, if the test was uh, one against the other, I'd probably tend to agree with the member, but the test isn't that. Lavender farming will be included in the other category. Government's going through a consultation of those, and they may well be taken out. What a, what a, what a hopeless government. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. If the government's objective with this bill is to make workers safer, how can he possibly defend cutting out farming, which accounts for a third of all workplace deaths, from one of the most important protections? The Speaker. right honourable Prime Minister. Uh, well, the member is showing his complete ignorance of the legislation because actually every farm and every business in New Zealand will have an increased level of responsibility and care when it comes to workplace safety and health. Mr Speaker, every business, including every farm, will have to deal with that and the employers will have to be in, in, uh, responsible for that. Mr Speaker, every director of every business, large and small, will have greater responsibilities. Those contractors that work together will be PCB use. In fact, the member himself, even though he probably doesn't know it, is about to become a PCBU for his electorate office. And Winston Peters would be if he bothered to open Order. any of the floor he promised it. Order. Order. This is a point of order, I hope. I'll hear it from the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister's penchant is to end answers in the way he did and for his information. We have already got two officers going in Northland now. Order. Order. I, order. I, I thank the member. Order. I thank the member for his contribution. Order. 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 I'm calling for order, particularly from this side at the moment. I thank the member for his contribution, but it was not a point of order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does? Order. Order. I've now risen to my feet third times to try and get some order in this House. If it continues with uh, interjections that are disrupting the order of the House, I'll be asking somebody to leave the chamber. Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Prime Minister agree that the ridiculous situation where working with lavender and butterflies is high risk, but working with bulls and explosives is not, has undermined public confidence in his health and safety reforms? And if not, why not? The right honourable Prime no, Minister. Mr. Speaker, because uh, most people who have studied this legislation understand it. Understand that every single business in New Zealand, large or small, has much greater care and responsibility as a result of the law, Mr. Speaker. What we are talking about is whether something is high risk or low risk for the matter of having a health and safety representative in the workplace. And as the member knows, that is only one of a great many things that the legislation changes. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. If he thinks butterfly breeding is high risk, but dairy farming isn't, can he tell us the last time a rampaging butterfly had to be shot by police in the streets of Whanganui? <laughs> right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, 
what I think is high risk is being leader of the Labour Party because I see plenty of those come and go. Supplementary. Order. 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 Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given we have one chance to get it right to make Kiwis safer at work, but this bill is discredited and in disarray, will he take up my offer to work jointly to craft meaningful legislation that the whole country can support? Yes. Right on, Prime Minister. Uh, no, I don't think that's required. That's gone through a complete process, Mr Speaker. But, Mr Speaker, the member is trying to say, because of one aspect of the regulations, that somehow there is not a substantial change to workplace. Well, that's what the member is trying to say, and that's, that actually shows that the member isn't taking the process seriously. I don't care about order. Point of order. Andrew Little. Speaker, I seek leave to table uh, my letter to the Prime Minister and to the Minister of Workplace Relations and Safety. Order, leave a sort uh, to table. Yesterday. Order, leave a sort to table. That particular letter, is there any objection? Yes. There is objection. Question, question number two. John O'Neill. Thank you, Mr.